Hello, hope you're doing good. In this beginner friendly tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Lucky Orange. Lucky Orange is a platform that is perfect for website owners. Whether you're running an e-commerce store or you're running a WordPress website, you will definitely find this tool handy as you'll be able to use it for heat maps, session recordings, and you can also use it to create surveys that you can ask your clients what they're feeling about your website. And you'll be able to track your dashboard insights. You can also do form analytics. You can also use Lucky Orange to create announcements and live chats. Now to get started, you will go on to luckyorange.com. From there, you can enter your email address and you can sign up to their free 7-day trial period. And you do not need a credit card or anything like that to get started. And if I were to scroll down, you can see that it is highly rated as you can see that it has been used by over 400,000 websites worldwide. Now, once you are signed up, you will be redirected to a dashboard just like this. And from here, you can see what is your primary role at your website. So after you have entered your website name and all of those necessary information, you'll be redirected to this page. And from here, you can simply select your primary role. Then you can tap on continue setup in the bottom right hand corner. After you have done that, what would you like to do first in Lucky Orange? So you can select which one of these features you like to access first, whether you'd like to access their screen recording or you'd like to create a survey to collect feedback from your visitors or you'd like to track your heat maps. And the heat maps basically mean whenever someone lands on a page on your website, you'll be able to view which section they're, they're clicking on. So you'll be able to optimize your website better so that you'll cut down your bounce rate. So let's say for example, we would like it to use for surveys. We'll tap on surveys, then tap on continue setup after you have done that, you can enter your website domain name or you could simply tap on skip. So we'll tap on skip for this example. After you have done that, you can see last step get synced up. The magic happens when you add our piece of code to your website. And from here, all you will need to do is paste this code below the head tag and you will be able to get started. But for now, we are going to tap on done and get started. Once on the main dashboard, I'll now be showing you how to connect your website. I'll be showing you how to do this on WordPress and also on Shopify. So the first thing you want to do is go over to the left hand menu option. And from there, you're going to tap on settings. Once on this page, all you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option once more and you're going to tap on sites. After you have tapped on sites, you're going to tap on the site name right below, right here, right below your name. Then from there, you're going to see site URL and you're going to tap right there and you can add in your website URL. So for example, if you're using Shopify, all you'll need to do is go onto your Shopify admin dashboard. Then right where you see online store, you're going to tap on view your online store. Then from there, you can copy your website URL, then go back into Lucky Orange and you would paste it right here. If you're using WordPress, you'll copy your website URL also, and you'll paste it right there. Now that you have done that, now to add the tracking code, if you are using WordPress, you'll simply copy the tracking code right here. Then you're going to go into your WordPress dashboard. Once in your WordPress dashboard, you'll go over to the left hand menu option, select plugins, then you're going to tap on add new. After you have tapped on add new and you're on this page, all I want you to do is tap right where you see search plugins. And from there, you're going to type in header. So let's type in header real quick. After you have typed in header, we're going to install the WP code, insert headers and footers. 
So you are going to install that, then you are going to tap on activate. After you have activated this, you are going to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to realize that right below settings you will see code snippets. So you are going to hover over that and you are going to select header and footer. After selecting header and footer, from here you will be able to paste the code that you have copied from Lucky Orange. So you could go back into Lucky Orange, copy this code, and you will simply paste it right here, then tap on save. After you have done that, you will now be able to verify your website. But if you are using Shopify, all you will need to do is select themes from the left hand menu option. Then from there, you'll simply scroll down, tap on the three dots right beside customize, and you're going to tap on edit code. After you have selected edit code, you'll be redirected to this page, and you're going to select theme and liquid from the left hand menu option. After you have selected theme and liquid, you're going to see head. You'll simply tap right there, then press enter, and you're going to paste the code right here. So after you have pasted the code, like what you can see that I've done right here, you would tap on save in the top right hand corner to save the changes. And that's how you'll be able to install it on Shopify. Now all you'll need to do is go back into Lucky Orange. Then from there you could tap on overview. And you'll simply give it a few minutes to sometime an hour or so. Then you'll tap on verify install. And it does take a while sometime to verify the tracking code. At least that is what it seems like when I'm using Shopify. Now to get started, for example, if you would like to use their session recording, or for example, if you'd like to use their survey or heat map feature, all you'll need to do, for example, surveys, you could simply tap on surveys. And by the way, with Lucky Orange, you'll be able to create surveys that you can use to collect information from your website visitors. So after you have tapped on surveys, you'll be provided. You can create multiple choice, like or dislike, ratings are open-ended. So let's say, for example, like or dislike. Then you can name your survey. Then you'll tap on next. After you have tapped on next, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, you can enter your question. So you can simply type in, how was your website visit? Arbited, how was your visit? Just for example sake. After you have done that, you can write there, how was your visit? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Thank you, the feedback right there. If you'd like to allow additional feedback, you can toggle this on. Then you are going to tap on next in the top right hand corner and you can see triggers. So this is basically when this will pop up, what will cause it to pop up. So you can scroll down. Would you like it to be added to any page or a specific URL? You can add it right there. Would you like it to show up when persons are using any device or only when they are using desktop, tablet or mobile? You can select that. If you'd like to also add a delay, you can do that. Then you'll tap on next. After you have tapped on next, you can choose whether you'd like this survey to be run for a week, two weeks, a month, or ongoing until you decide to stop. You can select it right there. Then you'll tap on next once more. And from here, you'll be able to review how it looks. Once everything is to your liking, all you'll need to do now is tap on launch. And once you have tapped on launch, it will now be live on your website. And in the future, if you'd like to create a new survey, you can do that by tapping on new survey in the top right hand corner. Also, if you would like to create announcements, you can do that. So you could tap on announcements right here. Then you could tap on new announcement. So let's say, for example, you would like to create a sales announcement like you see right here. You can do that using Lucky Orange. All you'll need to do is tap on New Announcement. You can choose whether you like it to be a pop-up by selecting Lightbox, or you can select Sticker and it will be a sticker. 
So you can see with Lucky Orange, you are provided with numerous features that you can easily integrate on your website. Now to view some other options that you can use or other features that you can use with Lucky Orange. So let's say, for example, you would like to view or use their heat map feature. You can do that by tapping on dynamic heat maps. So you'll tap right there. Once your website has been verified, you could tap right there. And after a couple of days or so on of persons visiting your website, you will now be able to track your heat map. So you can view it right here. So you can also create sales funnel or better funnels if you want. So you could tap on funnels. Then you could tap on new funnel. You could name the funnel. So again, I'll name this funnel test. Then tap on next. After you have done that, you can see step one. So you will simply enter the page URL. Then you can enter a second page URL if you want. Or you could tap on event and you could select or you could create an event. After you have done that, you can add a step right there if you want. So you could add a third step. After you're finished, you'll simply tap on done. And that's how you'll be able to create a funnel. And to view all of this, if you like to track everything, all you'll need to do now, you could go over to the left hand menu option. And from there, you could tap on dashboard. And on your dashboard, you'll be able to monitor all of these features. From this section, you'll be able to get a live visitor Snapchat. You'll be able to see the total amount of visits, the top pages that persons are visiting. And you'll also be able to see the locations that persons are visiting from. And you'll be able to track the survey answers. You'll be able to browse any funnel that you have created. There are numerous analytics features that you'll be able to access using Lucky Orange. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.